In my opinion, if you have a lust problem, you should not get married. I know many people are marrying because they may go to church and they don't want to fornicate, so they get married. Let me say this. Um, <laughs> in my opinion, that is a very dumb thing to do to get married because you don't want to fornicate. Now, you can do whatever you want to do, but if you have a lust problem, you should not get married because you don't want to fornicate. Does that make any sense? So you are getting married because you don't want to sin. You don't want to have sex before marriage. Think about this. If you have a lust problem, what is going to happen when you get married? You are going to want to have sex with other women or men. See, the thing with lust, you are not satisfied with one partner. You want more and more and more people. So what you should do first is get rid of that lust problem first. And what you have to understand Demons can be transferred. So you get married, then you have sex with your wife or your husband. Now, I don't know exactly how it works, but it is possible that you can transfer that spirit of lust to your partner. <laughs> Very dangerous, man. So in my opinion, if you have a lust problem, don't get married. Don't have sex before marriage. Get rid of that problem first, then get married. Because if you have lust and you get married, you are going to hurt your partner. You are going to hurt your wife or husband. You are. Because you are not going to be satisfied with whoever you marry because you have a lust problem. Makes sense, right? Like for myself, I am not married, but I am not going to marry because I want to have sex. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. Because if you marry, or the main reason for you marrying is sex, you are not going to last long in your marriage or you are not going to be happy in your marriage because, well, let me not say that. <laughs> let me not say that. So really take heed to this. Don't make any foolish mistakes. God bless.